a designer toy is basically uh, a 3D sculpture, whether it can move or not, but uh, essentially it's designed by an artist. I'm an artist, more specifically I'm a sculptor. And how long I've been doing this for? I guess the short answer would be I've been doing it full-time for uh, about a year and a half. The long answer would be that I've been doing it since I was collecting toys and I had an interest in it. Back then when I was collecting Star Wars figures, the companies that were producing these toys uh, weren't producing the characters that I wanted. So basically, I decided to take matters into my own hands and I created those characters that I wanted myself. It started off with very simple things like switching heads and like very simple paint jobs, like painting a different colour and stuff like that. And then slowly it turned into uh, learning how to sculpt, uh, learning how to sculpt from scratch. I have a concept in my head that I would like to realise into a three-dimensional object. So that kind of um, brainstorming and kind of conceptualising the character could take anywhere between like a day to like a few months. And so from, from the idea in my head, uh, I go straight to sculpting. If I'm going to do an addition size of it, I will basically do a silicone mould of it. And then um, once that's done, I'll cast it in resin and that allows me to make uh, multiple editions of the figure. So once the piece is casted up, I'll clean it up and depending on whether or not it needs to be painted, uh, I'll break, break out the paints. I'm basically self-taught, yeah, so uh, I have the internet to thank for that. I have been thinking about doing larger pieces because right now my pieces are like 3-4 inches so in terms of developing that whole universe which all the characters live in I was thinking of perhaps making bigger works like bigger creatures, bigger characters that can kind of interact together with this whole world that kind of like brings everything together Someone once told me that there's so much there's so many easier ways to earn a living than this and I agree with him, but I think in, uh, as with a lot of people in this industry, it's the kind of passion that you need, the kind of fulfilment that you get in doing what you're doing that will help drive uh, and help motivate you. I believe in that whole 10,000 hours thing. If you do something for 10,000 hours, you're bound to get good at it and staying true to what you believe in. And of course, um, Finding joy in what you do, yeah, that's important as well.